Hello friends, how are you guys? I'm making my bagels right now because I'm hungry. I woke up this morning, had a meeting with my talent manager, and after that meeting I took Casper to the vet to get a teeth cleaning consultation because Casper's up next. So we went to the vet, everything looks great. I scheduled his teeth cleaning, so that is taken care of. I came home and now the boys are eating and I wanna make my butter blueberry bagel real quick. And I'm actually going to head to the bank because I have to do a big wire transfer transfer and I do not trust myself to do it through online banking at home so I'm just gonna have the bankers at the bank do it and then I think the rest of the day Carlos is gonna edit a video right now and I probably should use today's calm schedule to clean up and organize the house did I show you guys I think I showed you guys last night in the last vlog my new butter bell it's so beautiful look you guys it's 100% marble so it's really heavy and the bees are going Gold and they're 3D and they're so beautiful. I got it from William and Sonoma. Or is it William Sonoma? I have to look it up. But it's a butter bell and it keeps your butter soft and ready to serve. I'm obsessed with it. Bubba, will you let Capet out? Your shirt fits you? It's a little loose too. Oh, Carlos just weighed himself this morning and now he's wearing a shirt that he hasn't been able to fit into in the last like year or two. How much do you weigh today, bubs? 242. 242, you guys, I'm so proud of him. His heaviest was what, 275? Yeah, it was pretty bad. Wait, I'm so happy for you. We're hoping to get a surgery date soon for his gallbladder. Because he's still having those attacks even though he's eating healthy. Ah, oh, there's def those gallstones are definitely acting up. I'm like obsessed with this butter bell. It's so beautiful. I'll link it down below if you guys are interested because I think it's gorgeous. I'm gonna eat my bagel now. I'm pretty sure last night I told you guys that I was gonna take today off and not film or like do anything. Here we are, hanging out again. It just doesn't feel like work to me. Like I feel like I'm FaceTiming a close friend, you know? But I do have to head to the bank. I'm gonna see what time the bank closes because I think I'm gonna maybe do my thumbnail and upload my mukbang and have that scheduled for five o'clock tonight. So in case the bank takes too long, the video is ready to go. It's been a few hours later. It is 5.35 right now. I got my video up. I got a few things done. Very excited about that. So we are eating dinner right now. I have been on this burger kick ever since I tried the Burger King Whopper for the first time about, I think a week and a half ago. I have been so obsessed and I've been sharing it so much with you guys. And then a lot of people have been commenting and they're like, well, if you like the Whopper, you should go try this and that and this place place and that place because they have kind of like that smoky grilled burger that I love. And so today I'm trying the Habit Burger for the first time. I've never tried a burger from there before. Every time we go to the Habit, Carlos and I always get a Caesar salad with steak and I know their chicken nuggets are really good. So I'm trying this because a subscriber recommended and she said that her the burgers are really good. My heart is so like obsessed with the Burger King Whopper, you guys, you have no idea. I literally crave it all the time. I haven't had it like this whole week because I told Michelle and I promised her that I would not eat the Whopper because we're gonna film a mukbang for her channel in two weeks. And so I really want to like save my energy for that. Let's try this out from the habit. That's actually not bad. That's pretty good. Mmm. It's really good, but I still like the Whopper better. Last week, I went to try Carl's Jr.'s Famous Star because someone was like, that's really comparable to the Whopper. And I still like the Whopper better. I literally, oh my gosh, you guys, the Burger King Whopper is the best. But this is good. Hi guys, we are at Texas Roadhouse. Hi. Are you so excited? I'm super excited. What's your what are you gonna get on the menu? Uh meat. <laughs> <laughs> I love meat. I get the porterhouse steak. Nice. <laughs> Wait, where are we? We're at Texas Roadhouse. <laughs> We're at Texas Roadhouse. Uh. Okay. Um, damn, honestly, I don't even remember what I got last time. You got a steak last time, I think. Look, you have no choice. You have to get a steak. Okay, fine. I'll get a steak. I don't want the rice. It's too sodium filled. I don't get the rice anymore, but get the steak. Okay. Okay. 
Hello friends, how are you guys? I just filmed a mukbang trying different salads at different fast food places. It was so, so fun. I discovered my favorite salad. I'm gonna show you guys right here. Do you guys know what salad this is? It is, oh my gosh, so good. This is the Chick-fil-A spicy Southwestern salad, I believe. It's either Southwestern or Southwest salad, but it's so good. The spice was, mm, I absolutely loved it. It was such a fun video. I am actually now going, what time is it actually? Yeah, I'm actually gonna head to my post office and then I'm gonna head home. I'm gonna put my studio back together. Michelle's coming over tonight for a sleepover. Actually, I just saw her a few days ago. She's coming tonight for a sleepover. We're gonna do a little girls night, but first we're gonna have a little seafood boil. So I wanna put my studio back together. I haven't gotten a chance yet this week to organize my new Ikea pack system. So I apologize. I think we're gonna organize either next week or we might do a little organization. I might have to talk to Michelle because she's so good at organizing. I want to get her advice on what I should put in the drawers before I go and buy them. I'm actually right here next to Target, but I was like, I don't want to like walk into Target and then over buy, like over consume things and then end up not using it. I kind of want to look at the drawers first and see what we can put in them and then see what I need to buy. I swung by Stater Brothers to get cucumbers for our seafood boil tonight and I was so excited because there were some girls Girl Scout cookies girls at the front of the door and I haven't seen them all season and I've been trying to hunt down Girl Scout cookies and I finally found some. These are my favorite. Whenever you guys see like Girl Scout cookies, the caramel delights are my all time favorite. I asked them how, how many they had left and they had 10 so I bought 10 of the orders and also you don't need cash. I don't know if you guys know this but you can order online which is so cool but these are my favorite you guys. They're amazing. I can't tell you the last time that I had these. I don't think we got a chance to buy them last year in 2023. So it's kind of been a while since I've had them and I'm so excited for these. Let's see if they taste just as good as I remember. Oh my god, there's oh they look great. Look, you guys look. These are my favorite. They're so good. Mmm. Caramel, toasted coconut, and chocolate. And they're so soft and chewy. It's everything I love in one bite. Mm -mm. I'm gonna give two to Michelle and Maiden. And then probably one to my mom because they don't really like snack that much. And then I'm gonna ask Janika and Brittany if they want some. Oh my God, they're bomb. No, Panera bread salad. It was, I was just so upset. All bad? It was so bad on so many levels. Was it expensive? Yeah, Panera bread's so expensive. Okay, this is the Wendy's apple pecan salad. And I took out the blue cheese for you. Oh, thank you, babe. Mm -hmm. There you go. Ooh, the, the, the pecans have a little uh, kick to them. I like them. I hope you like it. I also got um, Girl Scout cookies. Ooh. There you go. It's so good. I love the chicken with the apples and the cranberries. It was just bomb. I hope you like it. Mm. Did you get the chicken yet? Mm -mm. Get the chicken with the apple and stuff. Mm. Right? Mm -hmm. Isn't that's, that good, Bubba? That's bomb. And then this is the Chick-fil-A, but the chicken's kind of spicy. Yeah, have some. I don't know. Here, I think one won't hurt you. Mm. And then they give you these like tortilla strips that are like lemony and zesty. Mm. <laughs> oh, yeah, that one's that one's bomb. But I feel like if I ate all of it, it would. You would have another attack. Yeah, one mm -hmm. time better. Uh huh. That's bomb. These two were my favorite salads today. Mm. So good. Did you wait too long to eat? No. Are you nauseous? No. 
it just it's my stomach like it just feels funky but i've noticed that the last couple of weeks it's every time i eat it doesn't matter what time it is okay so i think it's starting to kind of i don't know you have a you have another week until we see the surgeon i know still haven't been able to go see my surgeon but we already got a consultation so okay. <laughs> another day more stomach issues <laughs> Thanks, babe. Yeah, so I think we have all the space, huh? You think we can move it over a little? I think so. Okay. Like right here, huh? Yeah, I think you should be good there. Okay, wheel man. What is he doing? He's holding on for dear life. Cooper or Casper? Do Casper. Here, baby. I got the crusty squirrel. Ew, <laughs> I gotta wash it. This is gross. You wanna see how fast he is? It's coming. What about you? Oh no! Come on, Coopy. We always take turns. Wow! Run back! Look at those ears. Oh, okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> he said no. I think Koopy wants to do it. Koopy's giving it to you. Come on, Koops. The ears, the ears! <laughs> I am cutting cucumbers for our seafood boil. And every time I cut cucumbers, I always have somebody here next to me. Cause he always wants a little bit of the cucumber. He's so funny, you guys. I wish I could do like a meet and greet so you guys can meet all of the pups. Mommy, we'll give you one. Just give me a minute. These were good today, Rye. They smell good. Carlos's mom has surgery this week. So Carlos is on the phone making sure she's okay. She had stomach surgery and we thought that it was gonna be the, you know, the one, uh, I don't know what they're called these days, but it's a type of surgery where they do like three or four holes and they stick these things through you and like the robot hands do it. We thought it was gonna be that, which the recovery for that is a little bit faster, but she had basically open surgery. So we're just seeing how her recovery is cause that is really hard on the body. I remember in middle school, no, I'm sorry, high school. It was 10th grade, my, no, I'm sorry. I'm losing my memory. Oh my God, when you hit 30, you really just lose your memory. 11th grade, when I was a junior, my mom had an appendectomy, which I didn't even know at the time what an appendix is. It's basically a little organ that sticks out and it doesn't really have a job, but it's, it's like your bottom right area right here. And she did not know that she was having appendix issues. Basically, she was constipated for maybe like an entire week. And then she started feeling pain 
when she would push down here. And since she couldn't go to the bathroom for an entire week, she was like, okay, let me go to the family doctor and see what's going on. She's probably just really constipated. So we went to the family doctor and they were like, you have to go to the emergency room right now. And so my mom and I rushed over to the emergency room. I remember this was like a Thursday night after school, I think I, if I remember clearly, we rushed over to the emergency room. We sat there for maybe like three or four hours because they made her drink this like solution and it tasted like and she had to drink like, I think maybe a little bit under half a gallon of it or something like that. So she drank that, they took some tests and they literally rushed her into the emergency room and they're like, she needs to remove her appendix right now. If you guys had waited another day, your mom would have died. And at this, point, we don't really have any other family support because we were getting ready to move the next year. So my brother had already moved to California. If you guys grew up in an immigrant family, then you know that you are the primary translator. You basically make the decisions when your parents can't. And so as a 11th grader, I think I was 17 at the time, I really didn't know, you know, at the time I didn't even know what an appendix was. So it was really scary. They rushed my mom into surgery. My sister in New Jersey, Jersey. She had her husband drive three hours to us to basically look after me and my mom And I think it took my mom like a good month to recover after her appendectomy They had like a little contain like a little ziploc bag It looked like a ziploc bag with this tube and the tube was still inside her and basically every day I would help my mom pump out all of the bad liquids that had basically spread everywhere when her appendix bursted and so I had to switch that out for her. I think we switched it out for an entire week and then we took her back to the doctors and the doctor literally pulled that whole thing out of her body and my mom was like Kim that was the worst pain ever and she was like I would rather have 10 more kids than feel them pull that little thing out of her and I, yeah it took like my mom like a month to recover and she still has a scar there till that day or till this day but it is just crazy you guys i i remember i was so like scared that night because the doctors had just they were just like yeah your mom was about to die basically if you didn't rush her to the hospital and i just remember sitting in the waiting room like crying because i like didn't know what to do i was like freaking out it was a whole thing okay cucumbers are done anyways that is the story of my mom's appendectomy <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't as intense, man. <laughs> it's because the talking ended. Like, yeah, we tried scaring you. Where are you? Do you know if they're good, Mom? Mm, no. They're Korean. That I do know. Ha <laughs> ha. Iced hazelnut. I was gonna read it in Korean for you realize it's written there. Like this. Ice sweet Americano. Mmm. Ooh, that one says sweet. Okay, okay, good to know. We are trying these pouches from Korea. You can get them at convenience stores and they're coffee. In the last vlog, I tried the green grape and that was so sweet. Good, but too sweet for me. Ice caramel macchiato. Ooh. Ice vanilla nice, americano. Nice, nice. Black coffee. Oh yeah, you're not gonna Maybe like that Maybe for one. your family? I don't know who drinks. Mm, well, Maybe but Oma can... gets creative. Yeah, 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 yeah. A pin, I think this one. I have a feeling these two are not sweet. I like we'll clean. have to add creamer. Yeah. Okay, let's try this one. We're gonna try the ice caramel macchiato. Sorry if you saw me pick my nose. A little bit. Some, some. Some. <laughs> Sweetie, it's not that serious. <laughs> I feel like I'm in Korea. I'll just close my eyes. Wow, convenient store. Wow, you got the ice from the refrigerator. <laughs> this is good, right? You don't even drink coffee. You said I could if you would let me. Whoa, it smells good. Wow. Okay, ready? Ooh. You wanna go first? No. It looks go. good. You go first. It looks good. I believe. Okay. Do they sell that alone? Do they sell that alone? Do they sell that alone? Do they sell that just individually? Me and you wow. would just rip that up every morning. We well, just rip spot. it up every morning. Do they sell that alone, mom? That is bomb. Kantata. Oh, sorry. Kantata is the name of the brand.
Can you find it for me on Amazon, Mom? Yeah, let me see if I can find a specific one. You guys, this is so good. Every morning, you would just like open that and put it over ice and call it a day. You don't even need a million different things in your house. Oma's going to Korea. Oh my God, I will sell Oma right now. Where are you? It is so freaking good. Mom, how good is this? Uh -huh. Bomb. We're gonna try to find it. Hello, friends. Hello, we hello. are here at Texas Roadhouse. Again. 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 Um, we're so excited. We have been craving it, even though we had it last week, but it's okay because Michelle doesn't have one near her. So um, oh, this is the closest it's one. So worth it. Someone every said time. there's one in Corona, but it's like you're not gonna go alone. Yeah, like why would I, I would just come here and then exactly. go to you and then. <laughs> so we're here again. We are going to start off with our favorite, the mild boneless buffalo wings and the fried pickles. Where are we? Disneyland. Absolutely not. <laughs> Absolutely not. Hey, we need to get that recording that happened yesterday though. Oh. Because he's going to back out and I know him. I think suddenly we all changed our minds. I think it was just like a moment thing. Y'all are f fakers. Wow, you got thick ass roots, bro. What do you mean? Lucky? What do you mean? Like you just have so much hair. Oh. Yeah. You're so thin. I know. I don't be skinny. What? No, you don't. <laughs> Me and Hedgen are suffering. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> Hedgen. I know. <laughs> I know, is suffering. We are at Target. So I need to go to Target because I'm actually going, oh my God, you guys, it's been a crazy weekend. So Michelle came yesterday, slept over, right? She's leaving tonight. Tomorrow morning, I'm driving to her place. Uh -huh. I'm sleeping over at her house uh -huh. and then I'm coming home. Uh -huh. My husband's getting a root canal uh -huh. and then we're getting electrical work done uh -huh. at, at our house. Uh -huh. I got to take two boys to the uh -huh. vet. So I'm not even free until like next weekend. That's my week, bro. Uh-huh. It's like back to back craziness. And then I got to prepare because I got a special guest staying at our house for an mm -hmm. entire week. This and then the month is over and then we're in March just started. We're in May. April. No, after March is over, oh, then it's April. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, wait, you agreed. You know what I love? What? When you like agree with it. Because <laughs> I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about, but I'm not going to <laughs> use the rest of my brain to think about it. So she's right. So it's March. <laughs> yes. And then we're in April. Yeah. Hoping for a gallbladder surgery. Oh, please. please. And then it's Carlos's birthday and we have to pay our taxes. And then it's going to be May. And then it's summer. Oh, and man. then it's our birthdays. Once August starts, I'm like birthdays in Done. two months yeah no literally it's wild well anyways we're at target because tomorrow i'm heading down to oc to celebrate remy's birthday with her two months late but here we are <laughs> we kept rescheduling we like kept going back and yeah. forth and rescheduling so after lunch with remy i'm going to michelle's house uh -huh. and we're gonna have a little girl sleepover again so excited. Much needed, by the way, because it's been a crazy month. But we're at Target because I have to get gifting stuff. I can't wait to show you guys what I got Remy. And then Michelle actually wanted to go because she found this outfit on TikTok that she wants to see if my Target has. Uh -huh. Does your Target have cute clothes? Do you know? I don't go to Target. Mm, okay. So that's why we're here. We just went to Party City and got like the biggest bow of life. I'll show you guys. <gasps> huge. Oh, yeah. If you're looking for huge, huge. bows, Party City has huge, mega, like, bows. For like gifts. Yeah, huge. Yeah, so let's I go into Target. Even, sorry, I think no. you can even use the red one for a car. Do you think so? The big red one? I think it would sit in the middle of I a hood. I think the car is bigger, Mom. I'm not trying to picture it on the Jeep. I'm like, I feel like it could. Uh, yeah, and it's supposed to be bigger. We huh? got a we got a bow once for Carlos, and that was not big enough. I thought it was going to no, be bigger. No, it needs to be ginormous. Yeah. Although I would comically put like a tiny little one on the car. <laughs> that's funny. That's, that's funny. That's funny. Michelle and I saw this online, and it's so funny ugly on us. Look, you guys, we're at Target. This is a matching set. Yeah. I don't like it. I don't like it on me. I think it's ugly on me. It's so much prettier on the other girls. It doesn't fit my ass. <laughs> oh, Michelle, this is so big, you guys. Okay, I tried this one on and I like this one way more. Maybe I'll wear it tomorrow, maybe. It's so, so cute. cute. Okay, we're looking for cards for Remy and we found these three. I think I'm gonna save this one because it's so freaking cute. It's from Papyrus. I love this one so much. It has like dogs all over it. Okay, so then we're in between these two and I think we're gonna go with this one. This one's really pretty. Yeah, that one's pretty. I love this one so much. This one's cute too, but this this is the winner. Yeah. What did we get? What did we get, best friend? What did we get? <laughs> you guys, she bought it. You guys remember a few days ago, I found this for $15. It's an acrylic organizer at Target and it's spacious and there's three drawers. You can pull out and organize anything. Nice. Dude, they're so worth the 15 bucks. I agree. Oh, bra, bra, bra. Huh? Bra. What? Bra, 
It fits in both of them fit here. Shit, so you need another one too? No, look, bro. No, go get the notebook, mom. It's not your bag. Stay focused, mom. Oh, shit, it fits perfectly. Damn, it's deep. I just remember, friends, the other day I was like, why did I get the IKEA system that sticks out 22 inches from the wall? And I realized the reason that I got this one was because the 13 inch one is completely sold out everywhere. You got pink? Look. Cute. I love when things are a perfect fit. Cute, cute, cute. Beautiful. So what I'm thinking is, what I'm thinking is, I, I'm not thinking. You tell me what you want. Mm. No? Okay. So just what, word vomit. Let's word vomit, right? Okay. Okay. My really nice Korean barbecue stuff, mm -hmm. like, you know, my pink and green grill. I think I should bring them in from the garage and put them up there. Okay. Like my really nice grills. Okay. Right? Yeah. And then even my like long ass one can go here or mm -hmm. here or up there. Yeah. And that's it. Yeah. That's all I got so far. Okay. I'm going to move all of my technology in here. I'm thinking that these can be all tech and this can be all extra makeup and stuff, whatever stuff is. Oh, wow. Okay. So this isn't like dedicated to like beauty and tech. Right, right, right. I'm okay even stuffing because it's like my studio. So I'm okay even stuffing paper towels right here. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it's just storage. Yeah. Because I can't really make it pretty because I'm kind of like vlog life and mukbang life. Yeah. So I can't, it's not like I'm a beauty guru. Right. Right. Beauty gurus would have pretty hair. Yeah. Yeah. So that was my word vomit. Let me know if you like disagree or you have any other ideas. What do you think? I agree with that because it is such a big storage space. This would basically store all of my technology, extra makeup because I filled up all these damn Alex drawers. <laughs> More makeup to I come. Know. I can even hair. bring like, my hair accessories yeah. over here. I could, yeah, I don't know, paper towels. I didn't know you were here. When did you get here? <laughs> he said that he likes those ideas. You do, old man? What do you think, old man? He said, can he sleep in that one? No, because then he can't get off. <laughs> Yeah, like, it's definitely not. I mean, I would, like, obviously want it to, but I think, like, right now, I'm not doing any of those videos we talked about. Yeah. But this would be a good background, no? It would be. Yeah, but I can't have toilet, uh, not toilet, I can't have paper no, towels. No, yeah, it has to be aesthetic <laughs> Maybe, in a way. maybe we can keep the paper towels where they are. Why are we bringing them in here? Yeah, mom, you have space in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Perfumes? You oh, yeah, perfumes. of course I will put my perfume. Yeah, it's just word vomit mom. Like what do you think like obviously like all of my technology will definitely fit in these like yeah. my extra lighting and Core yeah. Thing. But I really think I'll only take up like maybe three. That's three? That means you already have three left for makeup. That's a lot of space. Oh my God. And it's Everyone okay. Everyone needs one of these. And we don't have to fill it all up. Yeah. Yeah. We some there's gonna be a lot that's empty. I just wanted to get your input on them. Right. I guess yeah. I just wanted to talk about it because if I need to go to Target this week to get organization you need or some trays or order on Amazon is probably cheaper. I can order like my blushes and stuff. Yeah, this is really nice. I think, honestly, before you even get organizational things, though, I think you should kind of, like, if you have any empty boxes, collect each thing and see how much you have of them mm -hmm. to get the right size for the organizations. Because mm. sometimes I feel like when you get a pack from, like, Amazon, they're too small. So then you end up with, like, one mm. whole full tray, but then half of your blushes are just kind of sitting around. These are also very tall. Mmm. They're really nice. Yeah, I would highly recommend a pack system for every who. <laughs> I guess let's start here. If you're using it to film, do you really want grills up there? I know. I'm having a, a battle between using it to film content that I'm talking to you about these uh -huh. days and store it and making it. Oh, so, you want an Alani new? I actually might need one. Yeah, you want yeah, an Alani yeah, new? I'm just might. getting an Alani yeah, new. Yeah, I think I might need <laughs> one. This girl is now crying because old man's old. Mom, do not just look at him and start crying. <laughs> Cry all the time. Oh my god. He's got a few years left. He's still energetic. He's still good. I just want to let you know, this is what happens in our household. If Michelle's not crying, Carlos is crying. Yeah. If Carlos is not crying, I'm crying. Yeah. We're just all taking turns crying over old man. <gasps> Mom, it's okay. Stop it. Stop it, Mom. <laughs> Hello, my name is Vanessa. <laughs> I love I love playing games with Miriam. I can't believe she said she Vanessa. Up with the weirdest. You got it, dude. I have no upper body strength. I actually have zero strength. My mental health is not even strong. <laughs> Don't 
To the left, to the right, to the center? Left, I think. Left. Oh, that's pretty, Mom. Yeah, there you go. Oh, it's just so big. I should have asked Mario to move. Oh, I guess I can do it myself. Oh, you can. Yeah, I'll just move it down. Like, why is this so big? But then that will get big. Oh, no. If I move that, I gotta move this. Uh-huh. It's okay. I'm not moving anything. Just leave it. What would you put here? Sometimes you gotta balance it off. Did you put a vase? No, that's okay. Like when you don't like an idea, you don't have to have that steak <laughs> face. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Um. Hey, mom. I don't know. What the hell? Okay. Well, that's good news. That means I'm not hoarding things. Yeah. I've gotten rid of a lot of things. She just called me trashy. I didn't call you <laughs> trashy. Thanks, Mom. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers to business and friendship. And Not two things you should put together, no. <laughs> Unless you come, you put friendship first, okay? Cheers to business, friendship. Thank you. Love you. Jesus Christ. I need more ice. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Thanks, Mom. It's so good. Back to what I was saying. I just think background wise, it's not giving. So since you have more space now, you can put them away. Okay. And what would you put in that corner? Oh man, so oh, he, oh, man honey. He said he tastes the old kicking Oh crap. my god. Oh man, that's so not it, baby. No. That's so not it. What are you saying? I was just wondering what you would put in that corner because that corner has a lot of potential. You can put a plant, you can put a mirror, you can put a cute little console with the mirror, you can put some frames. It has potential it for a potential. little corner. I just like to talk about things so then I can like just keep it in the back of my head. So does old man. Damn it, I wish that six penny was not big. Oh, I thought about it so many times, but six penny would- Stick out all the way. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah. man. Yeah, six would, yeah. Yeah, I wish. Because I, I would have been like a reading nookish kind a of vibe. Nook vibe. Yeah. I'm pro mirror, but then at the same time, I'm like, is the door in the way? And like the window, is it too like, because I kind of want you to get like an arch mirror. Oh, yeah, yeah. But then it's like everything's so squared off. Like the mm -hmm. window's there. You know what I mean? Yeah. Does that mess it up, do you think? Michelle just left. I am going to straighten my hair because I do not want to do my hair in the morning. Oh, I'm sorry, you guys. So I'm going to, but actually, you guys might laugh. My hair's already straight, but I kind of just want to straighten the ends a little bit. I'm so excited to see Remy tomorrow for lunch. Her birthday was actually in February. We had to reschedule a few times because we've both been so busy. So I'm finally seeing her. We're going to the Vox kitchen, which I'm so excited about. Every time I straighten my hair, it makes me think of middle school and high school because I would do this every morning before school. I would always wear my hair straight. It was either in a ponytail or I would just wear it straight. And I remember in middle school, there was this hair straightener and it was by Conair. I will never forget, it was by Conair and it was a deep purple color. And the cool thing was, it was bigger than this. I think like the hair straightening part was literally super wide. Maybe probably the width of my iPhone wide. It was really big. And then at the edge, there was a comb that was stuck to it. So as you were straightening, it was also combing your hair out. And I remember I used that all through middle school and maybe ninth grade and it broke. And I never got another one. I think my mom just like went to Walmart and got me whatever was the cheapest. I never got a chance to get the same one again. I would do anything to have that hair strainer. I love that one so much. Much, but I was 100% sure. I am 100% sure it's by Conair. I know you're like, she has Asian hair. Why is she straightening her hair? Just so it looks a little bit straighter, you know? I can't tell you the last time I straightened my hair. See, the backs are kind of like, I don't know. There we go. You always have to check your back when you straighten your hair because my backs are always like wavy. They have like a swiggly shape to them. I feel like every time I straighten my hair, I look younger. It just looks a little bit more polished than my right side. I don't know. I love it. How oh, you guys can see it. My hair's so long. I know it's extensions. I'm thinking about next time I get a new set of extensions because you're supposed to like switch them out whenever they get old or like 
whenever that is. Everyone's different. I usually get a new set of extensions like every year. And these are 22 inches which Michelle says I should keep this length. What do you guys think? These are 22 inches. I'm thinking about going to 18 inches, which is like right about here. I don't know. Actually, I'm not gonna lie. I'm feeling the long hair. I think the long hair is kind of fun. Ooh. I think the reason I stopped straightening my hair is because I heard straightening your hair hurts it because you're just putting so much pressure and heat on it. So I just blow dry my hair with the Dyson and I run the brush through it. This is kind of a vibe. Run my hair straight more. So cute. I look ugly right now though. What was brother barking about? We got a section in the back here that is wavy. Okay. Cute. I was gonna pin my hair back tomorrow like this. I'm thinking I should just leave it straight. Okay, you guys, I'm gonna pack for tomorrow because I'm heading to Michelle's for a sleepover after lunch with Remy. And we're gonna hang out and watch The Bachelor and all that good stuff. I also have to go do paperwork on Monday, which I'm not excited about, but I have to get it done. And those are my dogs. I love you guys so much. Don't forget to subscribe, all that good stuff. Thank you so much for hanging out with me this weekend. I know this was a shorter vlog than usual, but it's because the next vlog is gonna be pretty long. At least I think so. It's gonna be pretty long. I have so many things to do. But I love you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Hi friends. I'm filming on my iPhone. Um, today is Sunday. I had to cancel my lunch with Remy and cancel my plans for the next, well cancel today and tomorrow. I was gonna go down to my mom's um, and do a lot of things. So last night, well, first of all, it's been 24 hours later. It is 10 p.m. Sunday night. The last time that we talked, I was, I think, straightening my hair. And that was around 10 p.m. last night. So it's been a good 24 hours. So last night after I, um, sorry, I'm kind of slow today. Last night after I straightened my hair, uh, I got some work done for like two hours and I got into bed at 12 uh, midnight and I usually sleep on the right side of my head. So I was sitting up drinking my water and then I put my water bottle down and then I rotated my body and laid down on my right side. And the moment that I laid down, uh, the room started spinning and it wasn't like a normal dizzy, you know, you know, like when you play, like when they blindfold you and spin you for the pinata, it wasn't like a normal blurry. It, this was like the windows were moving back and forth, back and forth. And the room was spinning and then it went away within like maybe 10 seconds. So I was like, Oh, that's fucking weird. I've never experienced that before. So, um, I told Carlos about it and he said, okay, you know, let's keep an eye on it. Um, so I went to sleep at around midnight and then around, I think, 8 a.m. I woke up because my alarm went off. And when I woke up, I was facing my left side. I was on my left side. And my nightstand is on my right side. So I had to rotate my body to reach for my phone. And when I rotated my my head to my right side, I got the dizziness again. And it's really intense. Um, I also noticed that I woke up with like a really bad migraine. It started as like a tension headache, I think, like above my my left eye. And I took some Advil migraine and it didn't go away. This was at like 10 when I took it. And by like 2 o'clock, it didn't go away. So I took another one and I slept all day. I literally just woke up at like 8 or 9 and it finally went away. But I still feel a lot of uncomfortable. Like I'm very uncomfortable. Um, so we looked it up. And uh, it's called vertigo. Um, obviously, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna know exactly what I have. I'm definitely gonna uh, go to the doctors in the next few days. Uh, we're gonna call the doctors tomorrow 
just to get it checked out. It probably could be nothing. It could be something better safe than sorry. But um, I'm, I have an appetite. I know I'm hungry right now because I had a sandwich earlier and that was it. That's all I've had today. So I know I'm hungry um, right now. I'm just kind of very sensitive in my, like, I'm just sensitive all overall. I'm uncomfortable. I feel like there's still like a, a little bit of a headache around my temple area. So I canceled Remy this morning. I was devastated because I was so excited to see her. And as you guys know, we've been literally... If she's not rescheduling, I'm rescheduling. She had to reschedule and then I had to reschedule and then she had to reschedule and now I have to reschedule. And we've been trying to make this lunch work for the last two months and it's just crazy. But when I woke up this morning, I was like, there's no way on earth that I am going to drive and get behind the wheel. Like, I don't care if it's just like dizziness because of my right side and everything else is fine. I was like, no, that's, I'm not going to put other people's life at risk or my life at risk. So I've been in bed all day. I will say yesterday I felt a little bit stress. I don't know if high stress levels have anything to do with it. Carlos and I have a blood pressure machine, by the way. If you guys don't have one, I highly recommend having one in the house. Um, I bought mine off Amazon. It's I think it's by the brand Omari or Omaron or something. I believe they actually use this brand at the doctor's office. It had like one of the best reviews. but um, And they're not that expensive. Uh, definitely a lot of different price ranges. But I checked my blood pressure three times and it's normal. Um... So I don't know. Ugh. And then Carlos and I just did the, I think it's called the Epley Maneuver. So basically when you experience um, vertigo, there are crystals in your ears. Um, granted, I'm not a doctor, but there are crystals in your ears. They're micro. You can't see them and they're not going to fall out of your ear. But these crystals in your ears sometimes will like um move and get out of place and so there's this maneuver called the epley maneuver and when you do it it basically puts the crystals back into its home because when those crystals are moving around that's what causes the vertigo and causes the extreme dizziness i haven't thrown up uh which is good i will i was a little nauseous this morning with the migraine um, no temperature, blood pressure is good, heart rate is good. Um, so I'm just going to take it slow. I'm clearly really tired still, but I'm going to take it slow the next, uh, maybe day or two. I did pre-film a lot, so I'm very grateful for that, um, that I'm not missing out on work, which is nice. So I think I'm going to take today and tomorrow pretty slow and go from there. I really hope it goes away. We just did the Epley maneuver. So I'll keep you guys updated on the next vlog. If I experience any more vertigo the next few days. But vertigo is per pretty normal from what I'm learning. And uh, I posted on Instagram stories. And uh, a lot of you guys message me things that you do or things that you have experienced. So that has helped me a lot. And a few of our friends have had it too, which has really helped with all their advice. So I just wanted to let you know that. Um, hopefully I see you in a few days and we can hang out and take things kind of slow. But I'm going to get as much rest as I can. I love you guys. Bye.